everybody, welcome to GeoGuster. We have the Strange Landers here with Matt in the Hat. Hello. Modi Operandus. Hello. And the Pastafarian. Greetings. I am Fixer. How is everybody doing today? Splendid. Fine. Pretty good. We're doing this at a different time, so we're uh, without Al and Talkus, but perhaps they can put up a, a solo um, video on this challenge uh, on Wednesday, so we'll see. So... Mr. Uh, User90 from Reddit has been dethroned. I think he was he won like four weeks in a row. At least. Something like that. He has been dethroned by Mr. Bearded Bread, who got 23,365. And that was one of the more difficult challenges that, um, that I, I can recall having. Right, Pasta? Uh, yeah, it was horribly difficult. And I don't know how you all got those many points. I call cheats. Right. Nighty and, and Steven, 1986 UK, they both got about 20,000 points. I forget exactly oh how my God. much. But the point, the, the, the really freaky thing is, those three guys, their scores were higher than all of the Strangelanders combined. <laughs> Mainly because we did horrific on the last one. Yeah, it was, it was bad. But anyways, uh, Mr. Peter Bread is our new weekly champion. Congrats, sir. Time to throw a, a new weekly champion. We got uh, the seed will be in the description below. Click on it, play along with us, post your scores either in the comments below or over in the GeoGuessr subreddit. We'd like to see how you guys do. And uh, is everybody ready? Ready. Yep. yep. Alrighty. Three, two, one, go. So, greetings again, and welcome to GeoGuessr. We are in a quite arid environment. We drive on the right side of the road. Uh, we have a do not overtake sign. Um, we have kilometers. So where might we be, actually? Hmm. Could be something like Spain or Portugal. Um, not the slightest idea yet. Uh, we are... Or we might be in Mexico. Um, we had that last time, I think. It looked at least somewhat similar. Where's the sun? Maybe we can do something with that. Um, well, that's not very helpful now, is it? Uh, no, we can't really make out the sun. It's somewhere here-ish. Hmm. Nah. Not really helpful, no. Anyways, let's see if we, maybe we can uh, find some sort of sign uh, and make something out of that. For now, I will just pick the middle of Mexico because um, I think last time it looked very similar. Um, the vegetation looked similar. The signage looked similar. So, yeah, let's go with that for now. Aha! One kilometer. Brave in este local. Uh, Barrarica. Eh, could be Spanish or Portuguese. Although I think it's more Spanish, so eh, let's go with Mexico. Come on now. Oh, a blue sign, so. Diamantina. Uh, whatever. Municipios. Is that a county here? No. And of course it was in Brazil. Oh, man, I was Where so else? sure it was oh, my Mexico God. and not Brazil. Why is it always Brazil? <laughs> oh, it's killing wow. me. Yeah, I, I, there was a sign not too far from the start, but I, I, it, I couldn't differentiate whether it was uh, Spanish or uh, Portuguese. And I oh. don't know, it just felt so arid and so mountainous that I'm like, you know, this is... This has got to be more like Brazil, or I'm sorry, Mexico, and not Brazil. And I got 24 points. How'd you do, Matt? I, to the, in my defense, I haven't played GeoGuessr with you guys in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> I get zero points, and so we're going to leave it at that. Well, it's not much worse than I did, so no worries. How about you, Modi? Well, I'm not feeling so bad then. I got 44 points. I was distracted by the climate of it. It did not look like Brazil at all to me. And I had a pin dropped in South America at some point. I'm like, you know what? It doesn't look like I can know what the language is. I don't know what it is. So I went with South Africa and got 44 points. Yeah, for a moment there, I thought I was in South Africa, but um, um, they were driving on the right. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. All right. Pasta! Um, I didn't do very much better either. I thought Mexico as well because of all the signs saying kilometers. I saw another sign as well. It looked like Spanish to me, but then again, I can't differentiate Portuguese and Spanish. Uh, 32 points. So, so wait a <laughs> wow. minute. Modi, Modi is winning with 44 points. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Uh, this you is, put doesn't it in bode Columbia, well for the contest, right? though. Colombia, yeah. This is going to oh, be difficult yeah. to catch up to Modi, but yeah. I think we can do it, guys. Yeah. yeah, probably. Which one of you did uh, 343 points? Nobody. No one. What? How is... I got 24 and Matt got um, zero. How is that possible? I have a blue marker here saying 343 points. <laughs> no idea. Mom? Um, somebody somebody in the magic. Skype call. Somebody in the Skype call probably <gasps> oh, is playing maybe. as well. Oh, okay. Silent watchers from, from oh, the wings here. Yeah. They're watching you. So that's what happened. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for round two? Ready. Yes. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. That was pretty horrible. And, hey, come here, you. Um, no. I want to read the signs. Blimey. Okay. Um, uh, this looks more Japanese than Chinese, to be honest. Yeah, that, that looks more Japanese. Uh, so we have a route 20. 19, Nagoya. Ah, right. Uh, Jason. Now we just have to find the, uh, the cities. Yokohama, Tokyo, Kofu. Jimmy, no. Central Tai Yuan. I can't pronounce these. I am very sorry. <laughs> uh, Chikuma? No. 18. Is that still Route 20? No, that is Route 18. Where's the Route 20 gone? Where did it go? Pujimi, Chino. Uh, for now, I just plug it here. I have to find the other route 20, though. At least uh, it's in Japan and I noticed that. Then again, it might be somewhere completely different. But well, <laughs> it's just a game and we played for fun. Uh, maybe on one of the other islands, though. And 15 seconds only left. Oh my. Maybe in the north? Nah, doesn't look like it. Alright, we stand by it. Here's route 20 and let's see then. Oh, that is the 20. Let's make the guess then. Ah! It's, it's Taiwan. Oh, bloody hell. Really? What? Mm. Oh, I, right then. That didn't look like Chinese. <sighs> That there's, doesn't look like Chinese to me either. There's two Highway 20s, damn it! Did you guys find the Highway 20 in Japan? Yes. No. Yep. I saw. I, I found the Highway 20 in Japan, and I'm going up and down it, and I can't find any of those names that were on that street sign. So, I I just... And there it is, the Toyan District. Gosh. So, I guess near Tokyo, and I got 11.30. How'd you do, Matt? I had popped it in Japan and was... Just hoping to find something else useful, but I got 1026. And Modi? I got zero. I didn't put a pin down. Oh, that's killer. Yeah, I was looking at Japan anyways, though, so it wouldn't have helped too much. We'll figure like 1100, maybe that one. Yep, pasta! Uh, I put it down somewhere northwest of Kofu and got 1207 points. And the challenger, the anonymous, has 2936 points. He put it down in China. Really? I don't think anybody huh. from the Strange Lands would guess China. Yeah, I thought that was uh, Japanese. It didn't look like um, like Chinese to me. Yeah, because it, it had both the, the symbols and the characters. Yep, indeed. And it didn't sound Chinese. Chinese is more syllables and Japanese is more whole words. Well, that was a tough one. It'll be interesting to see if any of the people in the subreddit can get it. Uh, they will. <laughs> definitely, definitely. There's no doubt about that. All right, you guys ready for round three? Ready. Yep. Yep. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, we are doing horrible again, so ready for that. Um, let's go in this direction. Looks a little bit more cold. Um, there is a sign saying, okay, we're definitely somewhere in Eastern Europe or Russia. So, I'm taking Perm for now. Or Perm? I have no idea. Yeah, but those signs are definitely uh, Cyrillic. So it's a safe bet to uh, with uh, Russian. Um, these are all very small um, towns, villages, whatever. Um, guessing from the streets and uh, where you have to go. Wow, middle of nowhere. Uh, so I don't think I will get those by just uh, looking on the street or. Um, Watching on the street. Okay, let's see then. Is there an internet address? There isn't. I uh, can't read any of that. Oh well. About a minute left. Doo -doo -doo. Let's get to the end of the road. And no. Wow, this is. Um, well, it has to be a bigger road, so maybe. Maybe I saw it. Maybe on the way to Yekaterinburg. Um, just because I would like to have something there every now and then. Um, hmm. I would be very lucky to find uh, this particular whatever this is. <laughs> I'm so horrible with Cyrillic uh, writing. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Okay, there's no way I can get it straight down. So let's see, where are we? Ah, it was. Ah. All right, what the hell city is near that? Poland. Uh, no, <laughs> near Latvia. Sorry. It's no city. That's what it is. Okay. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. All right. So if you went down the road enough, you you saw a little sign. I don't know if it was a road sign or a city sign, one of the two. But um, it was Russian. Uh, I guess Kazan. And got 2219. How'd you do, Matt? I saw a truck with the word Latvia written on it. And what? Put it, oh. Yeah, and oh. I put it on the border between Russia and Latvia because I saw the Cyrillic. And I got 4811. Ooh, nice. wow. So breaking away from the pack. How about you, Modi? I saw a truck with, I didn't see Latvia on it, but I saw a language that looked like Finnish to me. So I put it up near the near, near St. Petersburg, actually. And I got uh, 4035. Oh, not bad. Uh, Pasta? I saw several street signs in Cyrillic, so I guess between Perm and Yekaterinburg. Got 1634 points. And our random challenger has 4359 points. He plucked it down in Latvia as well. Damn. What? See, I have a different... Okay, so I have 1634. Whose was, who was that? Uh, that was, that that was me. Mixer, right? That, oh, no, that was that you. Okay. Is me. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll see passes because he's the one who created the challenge. I see, yeah, but he'll see and everyone I else's. I see the challenger, whoever that. He might sees. Be. I oh. think he. Yeah, he sees the same person every time, and I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know how it determines which person he sees. Interesting. It might be the first person to finish the first round, and then it follows that person all the way through. Oh, that that might be true. That would yeah. make sense. Maybe so. Tolkis uh, did that to mess with Tolkis. Or maybe Al. Al may have recorded it before he went to bed because he knew he wouldn't be able to record with us. Uh, I just plucked uh, the challenge in about 10 minutes before we started, so I don't think so. Oh, that's a good point. It wasn't there It's a mystery. Ah, uh, we'll mystery see Mystery guest. So. <laughs> All right, next round. Everybody ready? Ready. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay. We are... Oh, there is something to go with. Vendese. Mobilia. I can't read that. Let's... Let's continue. We have palm trees, so it has to be a more tropical region. Ah, come on you. Uh, are those people trying to hitchhike? Maybe. Uh, let's follow the road and see where we actually land. And I think I took the wrong way. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> happens all the time. Anyways, uh, and electrical thingies, and of course loading. Oh, 
A city! Oh, that is marvelous. Um, Secretar Infrastructura. Sao Benedita. Seada. Sao Bendito. Um, now, the, the question is, is that in Brazil? Or where is it? <sighs> now I have to decide. Uh, it's with kilometers, so... Uh, uh, Seara? Uh, half a minute left. I am plucking it down just to be sure. Seara might be the county, so... Let's see what we got in uh, Mexico. Mm. Maybe even completely different. Para, Amazonas, Sao Benedito. Uh, uh, maybe more downwards here? Uh, yep, it was Brazil, so, oh well. All right, so uh, well, right oh, around the corner, Sarah. there was a, a sign with Sal Benedito in it. Uh, um, yeah. So I was looking through Brazil. I, I I couldn't find it. I guessed Southern Brazil and got eight eleven. How'd you do, Matt? I saw a dot br web address, so I put it about Central Brazil and got seventeen sixteen. You know, looking looking at Sal Benedito, I don't feel so bad because it's it's fairly small. Uh, Modi. Uh, I went with Mexico for 42 points. Uh-oh. Yup. And pasta. I think I found the same sign as you, Fix. Um, I, actually, it had something written with blah, blah, blah of uh, Secretary of Seara. So I tried to find this uh, county of Seara, but didn't find it, but uh, it's right there. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, Governo or something like that? Yeah, on the, on the coast. Anyways, yeah. I got 1330 points, and our random challenger has 1878 points. <laughs> hmm. All right, going to the final round. I think Matt's in the lead, so we got to catch up. Yep. I think a random challenge is in the lead, actually. Yeah, yeah that might be true. He doesn't count for <laughs> That'll now. be a first. That'll be a first. All right, three, two, one, go. Right, okay, we have a car of some sort. Um, it goes down for kilometers and kilometers, so driving on the right side of the road, that is something. I'll go this way, just because. And there is a blue sign. Uh, that isn't helpful at all. It says, I think that is meters? Ah, anyway, let's see. Hey, come on you! <laughs> come on now, come on. Yeah, 60... Might be miles per hour. And this looked like a sign. Ah, there is another sign. Right here, okay. Not very helpful. More signs. Ah, uh, 5% on... What was that? Ah, uh, why would you hide that? Blimey. Ah, again, one of these. Hmm... can't really decide uh, where I would like to pluck it down. Uh, I have nothing to go with. But for now, I think I will just go with... What is that? Illinois? Ah, oh, why not? It looks very... Or a little bit more northern-ish than usual, although... Ah, uh, why not? Let's let's go with Norway for once. I never get Norway. Oh, Bonimark. I think. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I never get Norway. I always seem to get Finland, uh, though, so hooray for that. Um, at least when the language comes up. But uh, in terms of Norway, I never seem to get it. And there is the first sign I... And it's in Russia. Ah, blimey! Oh, wow. It finally know. happened! Wow. Wow. Whoa. We finally got a, a Russian guest on the co complete opposite side of yeah. the damn country. Yep. Did um, not see that coming. Yeah, and, and you also don't see a whole lot of um, 
um, rainy weather because Google doesn't let you go out in rainy weather when you're doing the the driving. Oh, yeah. So, so that was kind of strange to see rainy weather. Anyways, um, I saw a couple signs, and it looked Russian. Plucked it near Kazan, got 155. And um, I, I don't know. There was a part of me that wanted to guess far away just to see if I can separate myself from the pack. But I don't know. We th- I think this is the first time we've had one this far east. Yeah. <laughs> Although I think yep. we might have gotten one a little bit more north in... Uh... I think I think we had one in Irkutsk. I think it was um, a custom challenge, though. Yeah, right. You're right. How'd you do, Matt? I found absolutely nothing with words on it. I had numbers and the letter M, and I got down to like ten seconds left and panicked and just plopped it in Canada and got thirty-two points. That's that's, that's not bad. That's actually, actually not, <laughs> considering not bad. things. Yeah, uh, Modi. I got. I went with the western side of Russia and got 81 points. And pasta. Um, I my initial guess was somewhere in uh, in North America, so I guessed Illinois. Then I guessed Norway because I didn't say any, uh, see any Mars signs. Then on the last second, I came to a sign and saw the Cyrillic. So yeah, 61 points. And the this... random challenger hasn't guessed yet. Oh, interesting. Interesting. This is going to be ugly. Let's view that summary. Oh, let's not. <laughs> so, How did I get that money? I oh. got 4,339. <laughs> How'd you do, Matt? 7,585. Ooh, the Ooh. juggernaut. How'd you do, oh, Woody? Yeah. 4,202. And pasta? I'm not last. I've got 4,264. <laughs> That's hilarious. What did our challenger get? Um, He hasn't finished. Oh. oh, he hasn't finished yet, at least. That that's another difficult one, man. That's I don't know. Maybe oh, there's yeah. something's changed. They're getting more difficult. But I, I'll be interested to see if anybody from the subreddit can get Eastern Russia out of that. Uh, they yeah, will. they will. They will. Let, let's you know. Be honest, you know they, they will. will. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys played along with us, post your scores in the comments below or go to the GeoGuessr subreddit and tell us how you did. Let's see if you, uh, if you got that Russian guess. We'll be, uh, we'll be uh, interested to see. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.